What up, party people? Welcome to tutorial number seven. Let's blast through it. How to level complete Unity using a C sharp script. Uh, first thing we're going to do, we've done this a million times before, just um, make a cube for this example, call it whatever you want, and make sure that is trigger is checked. We'll do that and uh, scale it to whatever size you like, wherever it fits in your game. I think in this example, we're just gonna make it stretch across the beautiful map that we have here. It's definitely on par with games like For Honor, Battlefield, Call of Duty, Skyrim, and Super Mario Brothers. So, there you go. So basically what's going to happen is when your capsule man is going to run through it, uh, it's going to trigger something. And in this instance, we're going to check what we run into using a tag. So just copy and paste. Don't worry about that. It's fine. You'll figure it out in a second. Level complete. And then print or debug.log. Whatever makes you happy, do that to check that it's working. And you can see you get this squiggly diggly so obviously it's not in the on trigger enter function so we're going to cut and paste that over in a moment and always write something and be friendly to the compiler and to the editor it, it always helps your game you should always ask and say please it helps believe me it does so we're just going to test real quick see what happens and little round man's chugging we don't know where he's at like where the heck did round man go round round man well he's scooting but uh he's nowhere to be seen where did he go i always notice that when everything's white it makes everything easy to see what's going on that's why you should always you should leave everything white all the time don't worry about it just leave it like that no textures or anything. The whole game should be entirely white. We'll call it white, as a matter of fact. This game is called White. So, we saw that it came from the console and it's working. Uh, so that one's ticked. So let's move the player, uh, let's stop moving him. Because you, you don't want him to keep on going. You can, but I mean, you complete the level. So copy and paste that line of code over. And all that line of code there, was um, just making the uh, movement script uh, deactivating it. So you can see that level is complete and check over that inspector and capsule man is definitely not moving. He's definitely not even moving. He's just chilling. He's like, okay, what now? What do I do now? You'll see the pro, trip, the pro tip just flash on the screen there. Um, so now we need to say, well, okay, that's cool. You complete the level, but how do we know? Well, we need to show the player that's playing the game, something happened. And um, just cut and paste, sorry, Command-D. <laughs> sorry, I was distracted by something. Um, don't worry about that. So all that's happening, he just copy and pasted uh, Command-D, creating the same object but renaming it to level complete. And I did that from the text object up there. Uh, there's two in there earlier. There's two in there from earlier, don't worry about that. I was looking at something, making sure I had everything down pat so we can blast through this for you as fast as we possibly can. Okay. Sorry, it's not perfect. All right. Anyway, so that's the level complete. Um, we don't want it to be seen while the game is running, so deactivate it. And then when the trigger happens, we want to show up. But first, we need to create a public game object and call it level complete UI or whatever you want. Copy that over the name of the variable and set active not to false because that'd be dumb it's already false set to true so that happens when the trigger happens it's gonna go boom and fireworks and money explodes and you win like a thousand dollars didn't work why do we get the red well the red shows up because it doesn't show up there don't look there don't do that <laughs> the cogs what's going on don't worry about that click and drag it in and um, click and drag it into your script so it has a reference to the UE object that we want to set active to true when the trigger happens. So let's try again. Boom! Look at that. 
it's just that easy and always use Arial. Never use any other fonts. Always use Arial. So now we're gonna use um, we're gonna use the scene manager, which is the guy with the weird hat in the background, watching everything. The guy that makes the big dollars. We need to make a new um, method, new function. Call it something like uh, load next level would probably be uh, smooth. So just copy and paste it over, but always look at the properties of what you can get is dirty. Dirty, dirty. Dot is dirty. What kind of game are you making, man? God, it's not like that. Anyways, um, set uh, build NX plus one. Okay, so we're on zero right now. All right, and we only have one level right now. So what you can do is just Command D, and that'll make a, a duplicate of this scene. Add it to your build settings, and you can just click and drag it in, like Rico did right there. Good job, Rico. And because it's exactly the same as the zero zero scene, we need to just move something around real quick to make sure we can dif differentiate. Is that the word? Differentiate. Differentiate. You can tell the difference between the two. Differ. And, uh, and this way, I'm just going to make him like a little bit bigger. Ice cube gets a little bit bigger every year. And uh, so I actually think those were disabled on the last, on the first level for testing purposes. My goodness. Instant millions. As soon as you make this, you upload it to Google Play and the iOS App Store and you make millions of dollars instantly. That's just how it works. So um, you can see that it loads the next level, or it should. No, because you know why? Because Rico didn't freaking write the code. So we need to call the function on the Game Manager Bob script when the trigger happens. So we need to get a reference to Game Manager Bob. Just call it um, underscore Game Manager Bob. I like to do that at least. You can call it whatever you want. And then we need to call it in the is trigger function, but just to make sure you don't have to do this every time. But um, I don't, I think I probably get more into a habit of doing this than anything. I probably could get away with doing it less, but for the tutorial, just add print or debug to make sure that it's working. Call game manager Bob dot load next level, and try again. Let's see what happens. We are trying very hard to get this correct on the first try. And you can see that it loaded, however, we get this error here. So what happened, it loaded so fast, so you can use the invoke method. Check out the last tutorial for that. Uh, we'll probably add the invoke method some other time, probably next tutorial, because that just loads way too fast. It just basically happens. But it does load. The reason why it's throwing that error there is because there's no level two or three, depending on how you want to look at it. And in the build index, it would be, let me show you some real quick. In the build index, it would be zero one, uh, zero two. Um, instead of cl clicking and dragging, we're going to go back a step real quick. I got to hit myself. We're going to go back real quick because I didn't have a reference to Game Manager Bob. We need to, <laughs> uh, we need to, there's two ways you can do it. You can click and drag him in, in the inspector. And I used to do it all the time, but now I pretty much just code it in because sometimes you forget. And then when you get a lot of scripts and stuff going on, I find it's easier to just um, find a reference in the awake method or the start. I, I prefer to use awake. I don't know if there's a right or wrong answer on that, so maybe somebody can chime in. Go ahead and leave a comment below. You know, it's fine. Let us know. And um, yeah, so we, okay, so you can just go oh, game manager Bob is equal to find object of type game manager Bob. So that'll be your reference. So instead of clicking and dragging it in, you can just type it in. Rico, will, he should type it in. Rico, it's game man, yeah, Rico, well done, Rico. Holy smoly. Okay, wasting everybody's time, Rico. We're, we should have been done 20 minutes ago. Okay, so now the nasty red goes away. <clears throat> stops you from making your millions boom and then boom see that's the second time you complete a level is when you get the red the nasty era of death so that's it guys that's pretty much it you did all 
your tasks on your notepad are now complete. Just to make millions part, it's coming up. So I'm just, sorry, Rico is just showing you that, you know, this doesn't work because <laughs> he paused it. Why are you pausing it, Rico? What are you doing? You confused? Anyway. Okay. He got confused there. He was like, I got to pause this because I don't understand. Rico, it's fine. We all make these mistakes. Anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching. Any questions, please comment below. Uh, I always love hearing from you. You guys crack me up. And thumbs up. Subscribe and ring the ding dong. And we'll catch you next time. Uh, we're almost done with this series. Maybe only one or two more tutorials. And we're done. We'll probably add more juice somewhere. Anyways, uh, I'm done. Happy coding. Catch you next time. Peace out.